Let me tell you about the time I realized I was at the center of a vast evil conspiracy. It's not like I found out all at once. Really, I used to be like most people, blissfully ignorant, sitting at home every night watching TV with my arm wrapped around my one true love. Ah. People think gravels are just another snack cake. But back then, I was convinced they were puffs of happiness wafting straight over from Heaven's Kitchen. If anyone told me gravels were in fact the world's tastiest bear trap, I'd have said they were crazy. And nothing would ever convince me to stop. Stop. Look at that thing in your hand. Ask yourself, how long are you going to ignore the signs? No longer. You can't ignore what's right in front of your face. How far down are you willing to go to find out what's beneath the surface? What are you going to do to set things right? Come here, Kerplunk. Kerplunk Kitchen Cleaner, give those germs a dose of ultimate truth. Kerplunk. I know what you're thinking. They were snack cakes. What could possibly be more harmless? That's what I used to think, and I was so very, very blind. My name is Kevin, and this is my origin story. Hey, Kevin. Hey, so look, check it out. It's so weird. So someone threw away a whole gravel in with the medical waste. Parker, get your worthless carcass in here. See you, Kev. Okay, I thought maybe I had a little problem that needed fixing. But one thing I knew about myself, I was a fixer. They say knowing is half the battle. And I knew I had what it took to beat this thing. Really, this wasn't going to be much of a battle at all. That lasted three days. Grub, grub. I know it sounds crazy, but after that, the gravel started showing up everywhere. So it was gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> but I was still up for the challenge because I knew I was strong and I was gonna take this thing head on. What? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, nope. Somehow. They kept showing up. And I told myself it was just a matter of will and discipline. Knowing was half the battle, right? And I was a warrior, baby. I was Bruce Lee. I was that dude with the blue paint from that... Never mind. I was sold. I'd conquer the gravel's habit for days. Weeks even. But then they'd find a way back in. Meanwhile, kicking the habit became this weird obsession. It got to where it was impossible to think about anything else. No. Grab gravel. That'd be all it is. Gravel, gravel. Keep going your pot of gold. Gravel, gravel. Everybody knows what this is. Yeah, exactly. It's the devil. No more. No more! I didn't need anyone else. I just needed to gain some momentum. So, to sum up, all the obsessing about quitting feeling guilty about not quitting, reliving past events about not quitting, getting books and reminder apps about quitting, and still not quitting, left me feeling a little off my game.
When you're hungry for a snack, grab a snack that loves you back. Have a yummy little tasty cake that's full of creamy goodness. Grab a gravel. Gravel, gravel. You know what it's like when something makes you miserable? And it's also what you turn to to stop feeling miserable? And you realize not only how insane that is, but that you have, in fact, been doing it that way all your life. I know how crazy it sounds. Like trying to escape a nuclear bomb by climbing into an airless refrigerator. Hey, so I can't make it. I've got a physics test, and like, I don't know how to but I did it anyway. Okay, bye. I realized I had been doing it. Over. Oh, no. No. Over. And over. But knowing it had been that way for years didn't help much. I still felt it was up to me to fix it. Knowing is half the battle. In other words, I was fighting half the battle. No wonder I was losing. I told myself getting caught was a good thing. It was exactly what I needed to get scared straight, to fly right. That time it worked. For two months. Go away! Leave me alone! No, 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 no. not you're one of our favorite customers second verse why would you run away when you know that you should stay gravel loves you gravel loves you and there's nothing you can do so grab a gravel and remember if you ever feel like slacking off again you can't stop the music i'm gonna leave this for you right over here oh i got this don't even worry about it Even in that moment, all I wanted was to feel better. It was a battle, all right. I didn't know if I was just unlucky or a loser. You're a loser. Look at the mess you've made. You thought you can do this with half measures and a positive attitude, and look where it's gotten you. Do you see now how the odds are stacked against you? It's time that you finally acknowledged what you really need. You need a champion. Champion dual ply kitchen and trash bags. This time, we're taking out the trash together. Wait a minute. Up till then, I thought the super villain in this story was some kind of scary, mask wearing, evil version of myself. But in that moment, I knew it wasn't really true. And it wasn't just some force trying to keep me hooked on sweets for its own mysterious ends like the Girl Scouts. It really was a conspiracy with its own agenda, its own goals, its own army, better planned than I was, better equipped and more motivated. If I was going to survive, I would have to stop looking at this like it was some kind of endurance test and see it for what it was, a war. And you can't win wars by yourself. Hey, glad you're here. My name's Jerry, come on in. Oh, 
gloves, sir. Hey, you found one of my gloves. They're everywhere. It's time. We made a big investment in you, Kevin. You should feel honored by all this attention. Kevin? Ah! Now, I can punch you in the face all night. Ah! Or we can go grab a grab. Just a friendly ah! reminder. Come on. Jerry's coming over for country theater right ah! now. Kevin, this cake boss isn't giving you any trouble, is he? And that's when my life began anew. Eight of them, 16 of them, I don't know. They were coming from all angles. Ran him in, Jerry was there, caught one guy with a hand, flipped him upside down, threw him on the table. It was amazing. Glass, blood, spit, brains everywhere. Probably not brains. But were there still going to be hard days? Of course. And I know now they'll never stop trying to convince me that I need this sponge cake to survive. But I've got something better now. <laughs> I will stand against them. We will stand against them. We are fighting the whole battle this time. And if we stumble, we will pull each other up. So let them come. We will be waiting. Hey everyone, thanks so much for checking out this film. It was created in partnership between the Jesus Film and a new initiative from Josh McDowell Ministry called Resolution. Resolution is a movement all about helping youth overcome hurts and struggles and start thriving in life with Jesus and others. For more resources and next steps, you can check out resolutionmovement.org.